Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna take you through my process for a DIY valve lapping job. Let's go. Okay, so in my case, I need to lap the valves and for that reason, the head needs to be off. If you're replacing just the valve stem seals, then you can actually do that with the head still on the block. What you do is you run compressed air into the cylinder and that provides enough positive pressure to hold up the valves while you replace the valve stem seals. And you can do that in car. I've done that a few times. Touch wood, I've never had a valve drop into the cylinder, but if that happens, it's probably because they need a lapping. So you're gonna have to take the head off anyway. So you can do it the shortcut way to try and save some money, but if it does happen, then the head needs to come off. So let's get into the tools that you need um, to get this job done. So the first style of tool you can use is this little spring compressor style. Um, I don't like these ones. I honestly don't know why I have this one, but um, essentially it goes down on the spring. You turn this down, it compresses the spring, allowing you to undo the collets in here and then take it off. But uh, I don't like any spring compressors. I don't like creating little grenades. Um, so I would try and avoid this one. There's much better tools on the market. And this is the tool that you want to buy if you don't have a tool. This one is worth its weight in gold. I've used this maybe 40 times now. It is so simple to use. You just put it on the valve stem and you tap it with a hammer and it pops the collets into the hole. You do your valve stem seal replacement. You put the secondary tool on it. You set up the collets on top of the valve and you just push down and it collects in. This tool is the one that I would go with. This one is a Blue Point GA317. I'll put the Lyle part number here. This tool is so much easier. Unfortunately, I've only got the small version here, which is designed for say, late model thinner valve stems. Unfortunately, this 5K has thicker valve stems and I can't use this tool. So I have to use this tool instead. And this is the tool that I'm gonna be using for this job. I ran out of time and unfortunately, this is the other one that fits the valve springs that I've got here. So this wraps around the head and then you just pull this lever to compress the spring. Now, just to add to uh, this part, this will not do bucket style heads. So if you know that your head has buckets, then you are gonna need the Lyle tool instead. Um, that's the one that I would recommend anyway. So just get that one and avoid these and the spring compressor types uh, like the plague. Da, da, da. Okay, so this tool works simply by setting it on the top of the valve there. And then we're going to then pressure it down like so and then it pops out and then you've got the collets sitting out like so and it's as simple as removing the collets where the other one go like so and then undoing it like so easy and that's how it is so that sits in there like so and then the collets are tapered so you got a wide end and a narrow end the narrow end goes down and sits in there like so and then you've got like a groove and that groove sits on the valve like so so now we've got the uh, spring off. Now we're just gonna pull the valve stem off. And I've just got a pair of vice grips. You can get proper tools, but it's as easy as that. The first thing I'm gonna do is just clean off the valve with a little bit of emery paper. I just put some tissue paper around it to protect the valve. Easy. Nice. Looks really nice now. There we go. 
And now I'm going to use some valve grinding compound. I'm going to put it on the edge of the valve, like so. Ooh. Just on the edge of the valve there. Doesn't need to be up there. On the edge of the valve, like so. And then we're going to lube the end of the valve before we put it into the valve seat, like so. Now I've just got a piece of tube. I am going to zip tie this end on the valve. Now, I didn't have any tube the same size as the valve, unfortunately. Usually you can just like push this over the valve and it holds on. Unfortunately, these valve stems are a little bit too uh, big. So I've cut a slit in it. I'm just going to put it over and then zip tie it onto the end of the valve stem. And so we can spin it. And what we're going to do is we're going to put our finger on here and we're just going to use our finger to adjust the pressure. As you can see, I move my finger in more, I can make it grind more. And you can see how the sound is now changing. Now I'm just going to add a little bit more compound to it. And you see how it's gone quiet there? So it goes quiet. I want to bring it out a little bit and it gets more compound in there to grind with. Because I can still see a couple of pinholes here and there. And and I kind of want to get that as smooth as I can. So one more round. And that is what we're chasing, a nice, smooth, non-pitted ring on the valve seat and the same on the valve. Got a nice ring all the way around there with no pitting, super happy with that. So now we just need to do the rest of them. Whoop, whoop. Okay, so I've got all the valves nicely lapped now and the head has been cleaned. So it is ready to put back together. Now, as a note, always keep everything in order. You take the valve out, you put it back in the exact same place. But let's get these valves back in and I'll show you how to put the new valve stem seals on and the springs back on. Okay, so we're going to take the valve, dip it in oil. Then put it in. I'm going to do that for both valves on the one cylinder, like so. Then we're going to take a block of wood like this. That's going to sit in here to make sure the valves stay up against the head. And this is just like a little washer that sits under the spring, like so. Now we're going to take our new valve stem seals. Now we're going to find a socket that sits over the valve stem seal like so. Okay. And then what we do is we push it over, down. Then we take our socket and 
and we push it down so it makes contact into the groove like so then we're going to take our first spring now i got off amazon the correct tool now i had such bad luck with the around head tool and also the spring compressor style tool that i got a cheap one off amazon i'm only going to use this tool the one time so i didn't feel the need to buy the correct expensive tool instead i got the cheaper one now what we're going to do is we're going to lay the tool on there like so push it down and then it's just a matter of using some of your body weight they recommend that you hit it with a hammer but i've always found some body weight works better sometimes it takes it you guys And there you go, just like that. Now let's do that again. So the tool just goes on the top, like so. Then you push down. And you feel the collets lock into the top of the valve. And you know you've done it right then. Sometimes you have to push it further down to make it lock, because it likes to lock in as it's coming back up. So my advice is to get it lower than you need and then as you're coming up it'll lock in but as you can see this tool is so much better get this tool from the get-go because as easy as this is it's even easier to get it off because you literally just put it on the top there hit it with a hammer and the collets are off so much easier get this tool and we are all done. Now, I did forget to hit record for the rest of them, but with that said, they went together just as easily. And that whole installation took me 15 minutes, not even. So this tool is worth its weight in gold. I wouldn't even bother doing it without a tool like this. So moral of the story, get that tool and you're going to have a great time. Now, that's all done. So we are ready to put this head back on the block. And we are done. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe as it does help out the channel. And I'll see you in the next video.